All right, today we're taking a look at my uh, Coleman fold-out seat here we have here. Um, basically, I use this seat to uh, sit down if I'm like at a park or somewhere maybe in line to a restaurant. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat little project we have here. So let's take a closer look. All right, so again, we're taking a look at this Coleman fold-out uh, chair. Uh, this chair you can fold it up and put it in your backpack or even in your purse if you'd like. Uh, if you're somebody like me, uh, sometimes your back gets a little sore if you're going to be standing in line for long periods of time. This is a pretty handy little product. Um, so here we have the um, bench seat. It's all folded up and as you can see it's really thin. And it's pretty light, um, but it's still made of metal, so it's a little heavy, but not, not too heavy. And then here is, I'll take a closer look. So this is made out of, it looks like, canvas. This is the seat part. This is the locking mechanism that holds the seat together once you put it together. This is the framework. It's made out of metal. Uh, I don't know what kind of metal it is. It feels like it might be stainless steel, but I'm not too sure. And um, it has a couple of moving joints here. So yeah, that's that's what the seat looks like once it's all folded up. This is the tag, um, made in China. Uh, really good quality, and uh, it holds up really well. So just for size comparison, I'm going to put my uh, eyeglasses right next to it. So that's what it looks like when it's folded up there. It's uh, pretty darn small. I guess if I were to put, have to put a size on it, I would probably say it's smaller than a box of, I don't know, Ritz crackers. So yeah, but here's a typical pair of eyeglasses right next to it. Let me see if I can find something else. Let's try a coffee cup. Okay, so here's a coffee cup. So, and then here's a pair of glasses. Try to give a little bit more perspective. So, as you can see, it's pretty small. Um, you could fit it inside of like a uh, like a notepad holder book or something like that. So that's the uh, travel version of it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. So this is the folded up version of it. So basically you just kind of unfold it like this. And as you can see, it just starts to open right up. And once you have it opened, you just lock it here. And there's different tensions. Usually I'll go in the second hole there, and then that locks the seat in place. So this is the port that you would sit on. This is the side of the chair. And then here is the part that will go on the ground. It sits on the ground. This is the these are the feet. There are four feet here. So now that we have it unfolded, there's the chair in comparison to a coffee cup. So it's about, it's only about a foot high, maybe one foot or maybe a foot and 1.25 feet high. So it's pretty short, but it's plenty sufficient if you just need to sit down at pretty much any given place. All right, so once again, I just put the coffee cup next to the seat just so you can have a little bit of perspective on how small it is or what the size of it is so let's go ahead and have a seat
right, now I'm going to go ahead and, and tear down the, uh, the seat so you can see how much it folds up. So as you see on some of my other videos, um, the usually I'll throw things away if I'm not really going to use it. So this does come with some sort of like canvas carrying case, but um, I don't have it. I threw it away after I bought it. I've had this for about maybe close to a year now. But if if you don't like these parts out flopping around, um, it does come with a small carrying case made out of the similar material the seat is. Um, but I don't have that. But it typically does come with it. It. Uh, hopefully you like my review on my Coleman fold-out seat. Hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, if so, click thumbs up or be sure to subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.